uh, okay uh, let's uh, continue our discussion this is case number 2 when the cash price and investments uh, installments are given in the question but rate of interest will be missing uh, in case when rate of interest is not given in the question how to find out the uh, higher purchase price that we are going to see in this uh, case so problem number 70 <clears throat> let's go to problem number 70 yes so problem number 70 yes. uh can you see this i guess you all can see this question uh on 14 2006 measures x y z and company took delivery from abc company limited of a machine on hire purchase system of rupees 15000 being paid on delivery so this is a down payment and the balance in five annual installment of rupees 30000 which uh, 30000 each payable annually on 31st march the cash price of the machine was 150000 so this is enough information uh, for uh, computation uh, so let's start this problem here we have a cash price uh, we have uh, installment uh, each i mean five equal installment uh, balances and uh, the higher purchase the down payment so the the missing thing is uh, interest over here so let's calculate okay so the first column is cash rise the second column is interest then third column is installment uh fourth column and fifth column i'll explain you uh i'll just wanted to um, put a line start so the first thing a cash price so how much is the cash price it's 1 lakh 50000 okay so the down payment made on the date of transaction was 15000 so no interest element so 15000 is a down payment okay so 1 lakh 35000 is an outstanding balance at the time of first installment due so this is first uh, second third fourth and fifth okay uh so it says five annual installments of rupees 30000 okay so we don't know the cash price for this for all five uh, installments uh, we know only the uh, total hire purchase price okay 
so let's check what the point says see if you check out the last point it says total higher purchase price minus total cash price is equivalent to interest so we have first clue over here the first clue says total higher purchase price minus total cash price is equivalent to interest so let's calculate uh, 3 3 3 3 3 comes to 1 lakh 65 thousand minus 1 lakh 50 thousand our CP so 15 thousand is a interest so total HP is 1 lakh 65 thousand and total interest is 15 thousand so now we need to divide this 15,000 over the 5 period of installments. So, what institute uh, guides on this uh, type of uh, case? So, we need to take the total amount of installment, the total amount of installment outstanding at the time of payment of each installment okay once again i am repeating uh, we need to take the first thing we need to take the total amount of installment outstanding okay the total amount of installment outstanding at each uh, time of payment of each installment got it so i'll just write it total amount the total amount of installment outstanding at the time of at the time sorry at the time of payment of each installment payment of each installment okay so let's see so at at first installment we have total amount of installment uh, outstanding so we have 1 lakh 50 thousand as a total amount of installment outstanding so at the time of first installment 1,50,000 is a outstanding amount. So 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30, plus 30 gives to 1,50,000. This much of total investment is outstanding at the time of first installment okay at the time of this is the first thing the time of second installment we have one lakh twenty thousand amount of outstanding so just thirty thousand sorry thirty thousand plus thirty thousand plus thirty thousand plus thirty thousand so it comes to 1,20,000. At third installment, we have uh, 90,000 outstanding. So 30,000 plus 30,000 plus 30,000. So it comes to 90,000. At the time of fourth installment, we have 60,000 amount of installment, total amount of installment outstanding so it's 60,000 the last thing is 30,000 which is 
outstanding at the time of fifth installment hope you all got this yes so let's take a ratio let's take a ratio of this so you will get 15 just cut these four these four these four these four these four so you will get 15 12 9 6 3 if you want to divide further then divide it by the th three table three table so it's three fives are 12 three fours are 12 three threes are 9 three twos are 6 three ones are 3 so we have a new ratio over here 5 4 3 2 1 okay so the total of this is 15 got it so let's distribute this 15,000 in this ratio. So let's see how much we will get at uh, uh, how much uh, interest will be getting on first installment. It's 15,000 into 5 divided by 15. So we are getting 5,000 on the first installment and 15,000 into 4 divided by 15 we are getting 4000 interest on the second installment 15000 into 3 divided by 15 we are getting 3000 here we are getting 2000 so 1000 if you add all this uh, interest you will be getting 15 the total will be 15,000. So, this installment amount includes interest. When you subtract this 5,000, uh, the cash price will be 25,000. Here, it's 26,000. Here, it's 27,000. Here, it's 28,000. Then, last 29,000. Okay. So, when you add all uh, these figures you will get 1,50,000 this 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 and the HP okay uh, so this is our third case uh, let's move to our next case case number four hope this is clear